Good morning Arsenal fans and welcome to another video here this morning. This Monday hot morning, Neo Miss here and we got some things to talk about. Now over the past couple of days, you know, while all the international football has been going on, you just saw England win over the weekend, great goal by Raheem Sterling. But the question always that was always on my mind is what about Arsenal? What about Arsenal? So the rumour dropped this morning, well, about 15 hours ago, that a third bid from Roma had been rejected by Arsenal. A third bid. Now, I could honestly say that I am not a Granit Xhaka fan, so I'm probably very biased on this, in that Granit Xhaka needs to be sold, beyond any means necessary. Now, I don't know if this is some type of tactic for Arsenal to try to get the price that they want. Maybe maybe it is. Or maybe they're just digging in his heels because they want him to stay. I don't know. But the one thing that I will say first and foremost is that we don't really know what the kind of price is that Arsenal are looking for. Like, they're saying Arsenal want between 20 and 25 mil. I've heard stories about Roma valuing them close to 15, and I've heard that there are talks about them meeting in the middle, but maybe Arsenal don't want to meet in the middle and go for like a cool 20 mil. Um, and you would have to say that I'd be really surprised if this doesn't get through, but not very surprised if it doesn't, just because right now Arsenal, Arsenal are penny pinching. Let, let's be really honest, Arsenal are penny pinching we don't have the level of funds that's needed to be able to go and get the players that we really want. So when it comes to selling players like Xhaka, like rumours on the likes of Leno, we, we have to be able to maximise that as much as possible. Especially when you look at Granit Xhaka and we don't need to sell. But what we'll also have to look at is the long term. Granit Xhaka is now entering the last two years of his deal. I'm um, starting from this coming season. So... You, you can't just decide, oh, we're going to ask for top dollar when we always overpaid for Granit Xhaka anyway. I mean, he was never a £35 million player. He was closer to about £25 million. And we've overpaid for him. And now, three years later, or five years later, even with the extension that he's gotten, we're in this position right now. So I hope Arsenal get a deal done for this. But to be honest... I don't know because when you have a third bid rejected, if, it, if that is even true and accurate as reports are saying, you would have to say that, do you see Roma going in for a fourth or a fifth? I think that that's unlikely. Um, but again, you know what? I've never been part of any type of football negotiations in terms of getting a player signed. So I, I really don't know. But I would say that it's looking very very rocky in terms of whether Granit Xhaka deal is going to happen and finally I want to talk about something else that's that occurred uh like Friday uh overall and I wanted to take some time to really think about it and as you could tell from the thumbnail you could see the picture of Ben White so Arsenal have been rumored with Ben White and I kept thinking why why Ben White it just doesn't make any sense you know like not only do we have a lot of centre backs, like we have a lot of good centre backs, and don't get me wrong, like it's not that I don't rate, um, it's not that I don't rate Ben White. Like, I think Ben White is a good player overall, but we don't need him. So I started to do a little bit of observations and tried to do a little bit of research and delve into the reasons why I thought Ben Arsenal would be actually in a serious position to look. At Ben White for Arsenal and there's only really two to three main reasons and one of them I'll kind of combine so Ben White is very versatile very versatile can play at defensive midfield um, he played there seven times this past even season that I'd calculated um, also he played once at right back um, last this past season as well and that started to get me thinking, is it because Callum Chambers isn't going to sign a new deal? And is that the reason why they're looking at Ben White? To potentially play at right back. 
Now, I know what you might be thinking on oh, Neoma. He's a centre back. He's a pure centre back. Well, he's not a pure centre back because he's played in other positions, like whilst he's been at Brighton. Now, don't get me wrong. I see what you see. Like, I see he's a centre back and he plays for centre back for England and he plays mainly as a centre back for Brighton. But you have to start to ask these questions like, is, is that the route that Arsenal are thinking? Are they thinking Ben White could potentially play as maybe like as a as a backup DM, maybe a times player at centre back and a times player at right back? Is that why they're interested in him? In order to replace Callum Chambers, who might not sign a new deal, who has been offered an extension at Arsenal. And he himself, I believe, is either in the last year or two of his contract. So you have to kind of weigh that up as well. And then also the other thing, kind of the, the, the final thing in regards to this Ben White deal uh, is that I started looking at Arsenal and our homegrown quota. And our homegrown quota is quite low. So if you don't know, the rules of the homegrown quota is that you need to have at least eight players that by the start of the season or by the start of the calendar year is 21 and older and has been playing at your club for at least three years um, by the, from when they were 18. So right now, um, we, we, we just about meet that quota. And next season, um, this coming season, Smith Rowe will be part of that quota. But once we start loaning out Eddie Nketiah, Reese Nelson, once we sell Ainsley Maitland-Niles, then that quota is going to drop. Quite a lot to be re to be really honest, and I started thinking, you know what, Arsenal might have to go up and buy some English players, and Ben White, obviously being English, I can see this as a reason for why he might, or at least he might be one of the reasons why Arsenal might be looking to sign more English players. Now, I I don't think I would have gone after Ben White because for me, Ben White is a very good centre back. You saw what. You, you ask any Leeds fans what they think of Ben White. He was a massive part of their promotion push to the Premier League. I mean, it's a shame that they didn't get him back because he probably would have helped them out a lot defensively. But Ben White is, is a solid defender, young, has, you know, massive opportunity to improve. So you have to say that even though Ben White is English and he would count towards the homegrown quota, like, you just don't think that Ben White, you're going to buy Ben White for that reason, but nevertheless, it was still something I was thinking about as could be a reason, uh, and it could be a legitimate reason on why Arsenal are looking at Ben White, because I refuse to believe that Arsenal are buying Ben White just to play at centre-back when we have, let's see, let's round, <clears throat> let's round out the centre-backs. Rob Holden, William Salibio, Gabriel, Mari, Mavropanos, Callum Chambers, that, that's six, six centre-backs, one of them plays at right-back, so we'll, we'll say five for now. Then we have two young centre-backs in our academy who, for me, like, you need to provide a pathway for them in Mark McGuinness, Daniel Ballard, and possibly Zek Medley. So that gives you eight, eight centre-backs, whereby is only room for two, two centre-backs to really start maybe three if you're going to play three at the back. So you're really talking about four four good centre-backs is what you need. And then maybe the fifth as a just-in-case will be Callum Chambers, who would make nine if you're including him in that. But he's mainly going to play as right-back or, or maybe able to uh, come in as a centre-back just in case anything was to happen. So why are we then going out and buying another centre-back? I, I just don't see it. And, I, and you know what? To be really honest... I don't believe this story. I, I know there's a lot of people talking about it. Um, I know Charles Watts have been talking about it. I know uh, Charles uh, Wheatley have been talking about it. Uh, but I, I I don't believe Arsenal are going to go in with a bid for, for Ben White. Maybe it's something that, you know, somebody said in the club, oh, yeah, he's a good player. Like, it'd be great to have him at Arsenal. Maybe that's where it all started out. But it does not make any sense for Arsenal to sign Ben White. But leave your comments below. What are your thoughts on uh, everything in regards to Ben White and Jacka? Really interesting to hear you guys' thoughts about it. Um, let's get a kind of discussion going. And I hope to see you all next time on my next video, which should be somewhere around here.